In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on February 24th, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games, so six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports, let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games after fully watching this video. One more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks, parlay picks, and much more. Now let's get started. Houston vs. Baylor In a highly anticipated matchup within the prestigious Big 12 Conference, the soaring Houston Cougars, currently holding the impressive second rank with a record of 23 wins and 3 losses, are poised to collide with the formidable 11th-ranked Baylor Bears, standing at 19 victories and 7 losses. This thrilling encounter, scheduled to be televised on CBS this Saturday, is expected to showcase the pinnacle of college basketball prowess. As both teams flaunt commendable conference records, the significance of this clash reaches its zenith, marking one of the season's most eagerly awaited confrontations. Within the realm of college basketball, the Big 12 Conference stands out as one of the most challenging arenas to compete. Houston deserves recognition for its commendable performance, especially given its transition from the American Conference. However, it's noteworthy that all three of the Cougars' losses have occurred on the road, contrasting with Baylor's impressive 13-1 home record. Despite Houston's struggles away from home, they exhibit resilience by bouncing back from road losses. Furthermore, Houston's shooting proficiency is not their forte, with a mediocre 38.9% from the field and 30.4% from long distance, and these numbers dip further on the road. Conversely, Baylor's home court advantage is evident in their ability to limit opponents to a mere 30.4% success rate from beyond the arc. In this context, Baylor's home strength makes them the favorable pick to cover the spread as underdogs in the entire duration of the game. Baylor's dominance at home is a significant factor, boasting an impressive 12-1 record in straight-up victories on their home court. On the contrary, Houston's performance away from home this season has been relatively less convincing, with a 4-3 record. Baylor's offensive prowess is highlighted by their average of 83 points per game, providing confidence in their ability to put up a substantial score even against a solid defense defensive opponent. Considering these factors, the Baylor Bears to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Houston, known for its methodical approach, ranks a modest 347th in adjusted tempo according to Ken Palm. Surprisingly, Baylor, despite the perception of a more aggressive playstyle, stands at 291st in adjusted tempo. Recent performances indicate that Houston has allowed slightly over 62 points per game in their last four outings. Meanwhile, Baylor has leaned towards the under, with three of their last four games falling below the projected total. Under the projected total is our full game total pick. Duke vs. Wake Forest The impending clash set to unfold between the 8th-ranked Duke Blue Devils, holding a commendable record of 21-5 overall and a dominating 12-3 standing in the Atlantic Coast Conference, and the Wake Forest Demon Deacons, who stand at 17-9 overall with a 9-6 conference record, is eagerly anticipated as a riveting spectacle in Atlantic Coast basketball. Both teams have exhibited remarkable prowess throughout the season, with Duke leading the charge in the conference standings and Wake Forest making commendable strides not far behind. The scheduled game on February 24th, scheduled to be broadcast on ESPN, transcends being merely a battle for supremacy. It stands as a testament to the relentless spirit and tactical brilliance both teams bring to the court. As both squads seek to solidify their positions and confidently march towards the postseason, this matchup is poised to encapsulate the essence of college basketball at its zenith. Duke's season has been nothing short of remarkable, boasting a 21-5 record and a commanding 12-3 lead in the conference, showcasing a team in formidable form. The Blue Devils' offensive arsenal has been nothing short of impressive, averaging 80.5 points per game with a shooting precision of 48.1% from the field and 38% from beyond the arc, illustrating their capability to score from anywhere on the court. Defensively, they've been equally noteworthy, limiting opponents to 67 points per game and maintaining a solid defensive field 
field goal percentage of 42.6. Key players like Kyle Filipowski, leading with 17 points and 8.2 rebounds per game, along with Tyrese Proctor's playmaking, underscore Duke's balance threat on both ends of the floor. Recent performances, including decisive victories against conference rivals, serve as a testament to their readiness to extend their winning streak. The Blue Devils' recent track record is impressive, securing victories in 16 of their last 18 games straight up and covering the spread in five consecutive games. While Wake Forest has been playing well, it falls short in terms of talent compared to Duke. The star center, Kyle Filipowski, with impressive stats of 17 points per game, 8.2 rebounds per game, and a 50.5 field goal percentage, is expected to dominate the interior, just as he did in the first meeting between the two teams, recording 21 points, 11 rebounds, and 2 blocks. Wake Forest's interior defense is notably subpar, with opponents shooting nearly 59% at the rim and 69% on unblocked rim field goal attempts. Despite Wake Forest benefiting from the home advantage, where they remain undefeated this season. The consensus leans towards the Duke Blue Devils as the more talented team. Duke recently triumphed over Wake Forest by eight points, and historical data indicates Duke's dominance with wins in eight of the last ten meetings overall. The Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum is expected to be buzzing with energy, and while a Wake Forest win wouldn't be a shock, the Duke Blue Devils to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. Duke and Wake Forest have consistently displayed a penchant for high-scoring affairs throughout the season. The Blue Devils maintain an average of 80.5 points per game, closely followed by the Demon Deacons at 79 points per game. Ken Palm's adjusted tempo stats, with Duke at 67.3 and Wake Forest at 68.7, indicate a game that will be played at a pace conducive to scoring. Both teams' efficiency from the field and proficiency from the free throw line suggest an offensive showcase is on the horizon. Considering their previous encounter and the offensive firepower both teams possess, opting for the over in the betting realm appears to be a judicious strategy. In their recent game, the Demon Deacons exhibited an impressive offensive performance, scoring 91 points with a shooting accuracy of 60.8% from the field and 50% from beyond the arc. They also converted an impressive 19 out of 20 free throw attempts. Such a stellar shooting display is anticipated to carry into the upcoming clash with the Blue Devils, especially considering Duke's vulnerabilities in the first matchup, where they surrendered 15 offensive rebounds and allowed 40 points in the paint to the Demon Deacons. On the flip side, the Blue Devils are riding a wave of momentum, coming off an 84-point performance against Miami. They displayed offensive prowess by scoring 40-plus points in both halves, knocking down 13 three-pointers and securing 30 points in the paint. Duke asserted dominance on the glass with a plus-9 rebounding margin, collecting 14 offensive rebounds. In the upcoming rematch with the Demon Deacons, an expectation is set for the visitors to hold their own inside, keeping pace with the faster-paced home team in what is anticipated to be a high-scoring affair. Consequently, over the projected total is our full-game total pick. Brigham Young University vs. Kansas State In a highly anticipated Big 12 showdown, the 25th-ranked Brigham Young University Cougars are set to clash with the Kansas State Wildcats in what promises to be a riveting encounter on the basketball court. This matchup holds significant implications for both teams as they navigate the mid to lower tiers of the Big 12 standings. The Cougars, currently holding a commendable sixth place in their conference, are keen on consolidating their position, while the Wildcats, seeking redemption, find themselves in the 11th spot. Beyond mere conference rankings, this game is poised to set the tone for the latter stages of the season, potentially influencing the conference standings and postseason aspirations for both squads. In this high-stakes clash within the Big 12, my preference leans decisively towards the Brigham Young Cougars. The offensive prowess displayed by Brigham Young University is a key factor in this choice, with the team averaging an impressive 83 points per game and boasting a 46.9% shooting accuracy from the field, placing them among the nation's elite. The Cougars' proficiency extends beyond the arc, and their performance from the free throw line underscores their ability to score from various positions on the court. On the defensive front, Brigham Young University is equally formidable, restricting opponents to an average of 69 points per game and maintaining a substantial edge in rebounding, both offensively and defensively. The determining factor in this matchup is likely to be Brigham Young University's well-rounded offensive approach and robust defense against a Kansas State team struggling in three-point shooting. Notably,
Notably, Kansas State has had a challenging run in their recent eight games, securing only one victory and suffering a head-to-head -head loss to Brigham Young University in Provo. Brigham Young University's offensive capabilities are undeniably impressive, ranking eighth overall in the nation with a scoring rate of 121 points per 100 possessions. The team's offensive depth is evident, featuring seven players who contribute at least nine points per game. Even if Kansas State manages to stifle one or two Cougars, the team's diversified scoring options provide a safety net. In contrast, the Wildcats lack this luxury, and their relative inexperience is a notable factor. Consequently, the Brigham Young University Cougars to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Examining both teams' scoring prowess, defensive profiles, and adjusted tempos from Ken Palm, we find that Brigham Young University has a tempo rating of 69, ranking them 97, while Kansas State sits at 67. These tempo indicators suggest a game that, although not the fastest paced, will provide ample opportunities for both teams to capitalize on their offensive strengths. Brigham Young University's offensive efficiency, coupled with Kansas State's ability to score at crucial moments, implies a game where the scoreboard is likely to see substantial action. As previously mentioned, Brigham Young University's offensive capabilities are exceptional, and they play at a relatively brisk pace, utilizing 69 possessions per 40 minutes, ranking 97th in the country. Over the recent 1-7 stretch for Kansas State, they have been conceding an average of 72 points per game. This statistic serves as a key indicator that the game is likely to be played within the 70-point range for each squad. From a trend perspective, the over has proven successful in seven of Brigham Young University's last 10 games. Considering Brigham Young University's recent performances and their inclination to push the pace, combined with Kansas State's defensive vulnerabilities, the conditions appear favorable for a game that surpasses the projected total points line. Consequently, over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.